Describe that fight to me in one word if you can. Um, I think the best word is epic. You know, an epic fight, an epic occasion, everything we dreamed of and, and so much more. Um, just very proud to be involved with the night, proud of Katie Taylor. Um, and of course, we know biggest fight in women's boxing history is a bit boring now. One of the greatest fights in Madison Square Garden history. Um, just amazing. Well, saying you have the Leewood Michael Connor, which most yeah, people say five of the year. Where does that ring? That was pretty good, wasn't it, Leewood Michael Connor? <laughs> <laughs> that was just that, but that was like everything coming together: Ireland, Puerto Rico, history, the Garden, like so much, so many other stuff. So the, all these events have been amazing, and uh, we're lucky. We're lucky to work in this sport. Fifth round was arguably round of the year. How did Katie Taylor I get through know. that? I don't know. I don't know because I thought the fight might be over after that, that round. You know. Um, she's just, she's got a granite chin and she's so brave, but she chooses to stand in the pocket and trade. Like she could just box people's ears off all night, but it's not as exciting. Um, but you know, she took a lot of punishment and it came through with a tremendous heart. How'd you score it? Six, four. Mm. Yeah. Six, four. To be honest, when I got in, I thought I, I definitely didn't have Amanda Serrano winning the fight, but if it was a draw, I think. It was slightly harsh on Katie, but you'd take it on the chin. The same way I had it 6-4. If it's 7-3, like like the uh, one of the judges gave it, so be it. I couldn't score that fight to Amanda Serrano, as one judge did, but you know, it doesn't matter because we got the win. Is it too early to say the rematch is the only option? No, not the only option, but definitely the biggest option. You know, It's the biggest fight in women's boxing, the rematch. And, uh, we've got to stop saying that now because... you know. They're, they're standing alone so we'll see and what do you make of social media reactions so Errol Spence Ryan Garcia everybody, Conor McGregor but, yeah, everybody there's been a real good feeling about this fight and when it delivers like that it's mega mm. huge numbers tonight huge viewership huge subscriptions it's delivered and, and the broadcasters everyone's going to want to see more that's important two quick ones uh, you mentioned the press conference the status of the bet with Jake Paul that's completely off yeah unfortunately say? Why was that? Because it's illegal, really, for promoters to be betting on their own fights. Right. So it's not a great look on the integrity stake. So I'm absolutely devastated that we had to cancel it. But we said, we agreed that we would come up with something interesting for charity, which I'll be on to him on Monday. Don't worry. All right. And uh, two fights that happened before the main event, Volgas Smith and uh, Cruz Dezen yeah. against Cedros. Those were arguably fight of the night. Yeah, well. I know. Brilliant. Two brilliant fights and a great card. And 